Are you having a difficult time figuring out your next terror typing? Maybe you want a Slowbro with a Grass Terra, or even a Raichu with a Fighting Terra. Typically, if you catch a wild Pokemon, their Terra form will be related to one of their two typings. In this video, I'll go over a few options for discovering your next idea of Terra Pokemon. Don't get these confused with shiny Pokemon. These are Pokemon that can be found out in the open with a glowing light. These lights can typically be seen from a distance and are usually found in the same spot between games. These Pokemon will have Terras that aren't attached to their main typing. Cyclizer's typing is Dragon Normal, but with this encounter it has a Flying Terra. For these glowing battles, their Terra typing seems to be unique. Trying to figure out what those giant crystals do? Well, they are the Terra Raid Battles. These can be done with a group of friends online or solo with random CPUs to fight alongside you. When initiating the battle, you'll see a silhouette of the Pokemon alongside the Terra type in the top right. Just like the glowing Pokemon, these raid battles will allow you to catch Pokemon that have Terras not usually connected to their typing. If you've already established your current team but want to change their Terra, there's an option for you. After defeating the normal type gym leader Larry at Treasure Eatery and Medley, you'll be able to transform any of your Pokemon's Terra. The catch is that you'll need 50 Terra shards of the new typing. These shards can be collected around the world or through raid battles. Once you have the right amount of shards, speak to the chef, work in the sushi bar, and here you'll be able to transform into a new typing. With the newest mechanic being terrestrialization, there are endless possibilities when figuring out typings for your team. Let me know in the comments below what Pokemon you think will benefit the most from these changes, and don't forget to drop a like if you found the video helpful.